Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch this video and to learn OneNote. We want as many people as possible to learn how to work effectively with tools like OneNote, Office 365 and Surface. So please refer this series to your friends and colleagues. If you really want to have an impact with your team, the most effective way is to set aside time each week to improve your digital skills. You can set up this process in your organization with our Microsoft 365 coaching programs. Check out the link below to see our instructor facilitated coaching programs and contact us for more information. Are you ready to get productive with OneNote? OneNote includes a feature called tagging. Now, tagging in OneNote is probably a little different to what you'd expect. It's not like tagging in Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or any social media site. It's actually a concept that was sort of started before those things became popular. So tagging in OneNote, and you'll see on the home toolbar, the tagging section, tagging allows you to simply mark content with a specific tag. For example, we have a to-do tag. You can click on tags to place them, or if you prefer, you can use keyboard shortcuts. For example, the to-do tag is usually control and the number one, and I can attach that to a line of text or handwriting. And this one is simply a tick box, so it helps me to create a very simple checklist. So you can tag any of your content with any of the tags that are available from the tags list. So for example, I could also flag something as important or maybe something as a question. If you drop down the tags list, you can even create your own custom tags. What I've seen some people do with this is create a tag like assigned to Olivia or assigned to Tate. And each time something comes up in a meeting that has to be assigned to one of those people who are present in the meeting, they'll tag it that way. I guess the question is, why would you want to tag something in this way? Well, in addition to just tagging, OneNote has the ability to search those tags. To find tags, click on the Find Tags button alongside of the To Do tag, and you'll see a tag summary column appears on the right hand side. You can change the grouping of your tags as they appear in this search. And down the bottom, you can change the search scope. So currently, it might be set to this page group, which includes this page and all of its sub pages or you could set it to be this whole notebook or this section. Once you've found a set of tags using that search, you can even export it out into its own specific page with the Create Summary Page button. This function effectively allows me to capture to-do items, for example, in my meetings. And as those meetings progress and weeks pass by, I can capture all of my previous tags and roll them into a new notebook. Now taking this a step further, you'll notice back at the top under the group tags by drop down list, there's another checkbox that says show only unchecked items. Now when I check this box, my search results will change. Any of my to do style tags, that's the tags that have the tick box functionality built into them, will disappear if they've already been completed or checked off. So we can use this function to collect a list of incomplete tasks. With that list of incomplete tasks, I could then use the create summary page function to push forward and create a new page with all of the outstanding items that I could take into my next meeting. However, with the integration between Microsoft Outlook and OneNote 2016, I can take this even further. Rather than using those tags built into that tag list or the to-do tag, You'll notice on the other side of the Find Tags box, I have an Outlook Tasks button. So if I've typed up an action item in my meeting and I click on the Outlook Tasks button, I can flag an item as something that needs to be completed today, tomorrow, next week, this week, or set a custom date. This button here not only tags my content with a little red flag, but it also creates a task for me automatically in Microsoft Outlook. And that Outlook task also links back to my OneNote page. So I'm gonna go and open up this Outlook task that I've just created. And you'll see in the Outlook task that there's a link back to my OneNote page. So I can keep track of both of them. Now I could mark this task off as complete, or I could assign this task to one of my team members. And when they mark it off as complete, 
it will also mark it off as complete for me in my Outlook task list. In either of those scenarios, the OneNote page will also update. It can take about 60 seconds for that update to show up on the page, but my red flag will turn into a green tick, indicating that the Outlook task is complete. Now going back to our original use of tags, we can use the Find Tags function in OneNote to also search for those Outlook tasks. And just like with the to-do style tag, the Outlook task is treated as a checkbox. So if my Outlook task is complete, when I tick the box in my tag summary that says show only unchecked items, the completed Outlook tasks will also disappear. And I'm left with only the outstanding or incomplete Outlook tasks. In OneNote, you can use tags to track and follow up on all sorts of information. And now that you know how to use tags, you're ready to get productive with OneNote.